Hello there, this is Lightning D-Pad, and today we're doing another video where we are building Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike out of Lego. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so now the set is completely finished and look at that, really high quality, love it. So, we have our, just to start, oh, just accidentally threw the box everywhere. So, I haven't actually watched Crystallized yet because I'm still on season two of Ninjago, because I guess I've been watching it quite slowly. But we have this little um, crystal dragon guy here, which by the way is a really high quality print. Definitely worth the purchase. So yeah, I was really happy with that. Then we have this sort of space looking sort of spider thing. I guess, I mean, I'll have to revisit this set once I've watched Crystallized to have a better knowledge of what's going on. But yeah, another really high quality piece there. And then the main event, we have this fully functioning bike equipped with a little um, stopper here. So if you don't want it to be like on, oh, if you don't want it to be moving you can push that down and it also goes up and down you have this figure which i have been looking for for ages because it was in the magazine i think for ninjago not long ago really wanted it but then didn't want to spend that much on the magazine i mean it's like five pounds a magazine for a few short comics if you ask me but yeah we have oh it's falling over again um we have this all this stuff on the back and what i like about this one is that it didn't sort of waste design possibility on the back of the build like they um did partly with the um with the lloyd's mech which i'll just get now as you can see with lloyd's mech if you turn it over to the back look there's there is no design here which kind of irritated me a bit because i was hoping it'd be green or have at least some cool pattern on it but it was we, we could work with it that was good enough it was a good set I enjoyed that one. Um, but this, look, complete full design on the back with the stickers and everything and the premium crystallised design you would expect for £18. I got my set from Argos and it was a really good value, £18 actually, um, which comes with this, I'm not sure if it's rare or not, figure from Crystallised. And this bike which kind of reminds me of sort of like a Technic. It's not quite, it reminds me of the similar parts to Technic. 
look like the sort of often used in vehicles part I mean parts and Lego bits like the connectors and things which I thought was really good and then we also have those stickers which I did have to sort of pause the recording for a second because I'd stuck one on the wrong way but yeah it's a really cool set and if we move this up look fully functioning ready to I don't know run over Lloyd I don't want to actually damage it that actually cost money <laughs> quite obviously but then we also have these little extras as well like the weapons and i thought this was really interesting because these remind me of the og series like um jane j not jane zane's um i forgot what they're called Theron stars i think that's what they're called and then um cole's weapon and like sort of like the elemental weapons i think that's what they are and yeah, I've really enjoyed this set. If I had to give this a score out of 10, I would give this set easily. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's give it a 10. I've got to say, it's one of the best Ninjago sets I've had so far, considering I've only really done the small ones so far. So yeah, I'm giving this set a straight 10. It's been brilliant. Anyway, guys, this has been Lightning D-Pad, and I will see you guys next time.